Hello everyone, today's topic is understanding clothing and clothing comfort. Before we go in depth in clothing comfort, we must understand what is clothing. Okay? So, we will first discuss about the clothing, how to select clothing, what are the factors which depend that uh, clothing selection depends on these factors. Okay. So, first we will start with the different factors. So, why do you need clothing? So, clothing is the one of the basic needs of human being. It is the second most important basic need after food. So, so human expectation is much more than the basic need. Depends on the wealth, status, occupation, age, occasion, gender. There are many other factors which actually controls the selection of clothing. So, basic there are basic four factors on which clothing selection depends. So, we will first discuss the details of these factors. So, if we understand the selection of clothing, then we can explain the comfort related to this and our area is we will actually limit ourselves the clothing related comfort. Okay. So, first factor which affects the selection of clothing is the social factors, then economic factor, then environmental factor and last one is physiological factor. So, we will discuss all these factors one by one. Okay. So, if we see the factors for clothing, so these are the four factors I have already mentioned the social factor, economic factor, environmental factor and physiological factor. So, if we subdivide these factors, so there are uh, factors who actually the social factors can be subdivided into six subgroups. So, the whether the person is from rural or urban background that clothing selection depends on that factor his cultural background, the particular zone from which he is coming. Although this uh, rural and uh, cultural background nowadays getting um, normalized due to cosmopolitan nature of the urban cities, but still it exists. We can make out the person's actually social background from his clothing also. Nowadays. Then gender, occupation, occasion and social status. So, these factors we will discuss one by one and after that economic factor. So, economic factor is divided into three sub factors. These subgroups are socio economic condition of the society, then economic status of individual person and then availability of raw material and technology for a particular zone or particular country. So, depending on these factors, the person selects his clothing. Then comes another important factor which is environmental factor. Actually, this environmental factor is that factor which controls the comfort related characteristics most which affects them these are the climatic condition of a particular place, protection from extreme condition. So, you may select clothing depending on the extreme condition requirement, like extreme cold condition you will require different clothing than extreme hot or normal condition. So, clothing selection depends on the whether it is a uh, you need protection from extreme condition or not and then under unusual condition. There are 
various unusual situation like your uh, uh, army. So, there his selection, his, his uh, ballistic proof uh, clothing is there, firefighter or even space suit or deep sea clothing. So, these are the clothing which actually needs special uh, attention. Okay. Then physiological factor of a particular person. So, physiological factors are subdivided into five subgroups. These are the age of person. So, at different age people's physiological conditions are different. So, they need different clothing. Similarly, health condition. So, we will discuss one by one. Then physical structure of a person whether they are tall, short or different. So, clothing selection depends and thermophysiological response of a person. It varies person to person. So, I may feel warm or due to my metabolic condition. So, that my selection of clothing will be controlled by this condition and level of activity. So, suppose at different level of activity you need different type of clothing. So, that we will discuss one by one. So, first is the social factor. Social factor means the where a person live is it he is from is he from urban area or from rural area you can make out the difference. So, it actually from his background, from the rural background. So, it as I told that it gradually it uh, um, uh, minimizes, but still exists. Cultural background. So, in our country or even in uh, worldwide, people can be identified based on the clothing. So, that depends on the many on many factors depends on the social uh, requirement or cultural requirement and all this. Third one is the obviously, it is uh, very obvious that uh, gender wise we select clothing okay. that is a um, occupation. So, some for a particular occupation needs particular type of clothing one is to identify themselves like uh, or some special requirement like doctor they wear a gown protective gown to protect themselves from different anti uh, microbial microbial attack or different uh, similarly for firefighter they will require different uh, clothing for police for nurse so depending on the occupation they select the clothing an occasion. So, I will wear a formal cloth or casual wear or party wear depending on the occasion. Okay. So, I will definitely not wear a party wear always. So, depending on the occasion. So, these are the social factors and also social status of the person. It nowadays it may not exist, but earlier days. So, royal they would like to wear a different type of clothing than common person. So, these are the factors which actually control the social factors which control the selection of clothing. Next come economic factor. So, economic condition of the society a society which is uh, say supposed to be poor or rich you can make out from their selection of clothing their affordability and also it is a economic status of the particular person his income okay. and depending on their inco income job position. Okay. So, they select the clothing depending on these factors. Third one is the it is a very important it is availability of technology and raw material like the if the raw material is locally available for a particular area people and also technology is available 
people would like to select their clothing based on this fiber and all this. Like in India, cotton is available plenty. So, India basic uh, clothing is made of cotton based, it is cotton based clothing. Or in cold zone, in India even in cold zone, you will find that it is a basically where you are uh, in if you go to the Himachal Pradesh and all this, where it is a cold zone and wool is available okay. and locally available technology to convert wool fiber to yarn and then fabric. You will find their clothing is depending on this technology. So, depending on the availability of technology and raw material people try to select this. Suppose, we will not try to wear we are will not try to select those clo those type uh, clothing which the fibers are not available here locally or technology is not available so this is the main uh, one of the most important driving force for selection of clothing third is which is uh, very important and as i have told that it's a it's a it directly controls the clothing uh, comfort okay so uh, first one is the climatic condition so, whether it is a winter or summer or rainy season, we select our clothing accordingly. So, that is a, a very common okay. and to keep ourselves comfortable. So, that, that type of clothing selection is there. Then comes the protection from extreme environment. Here, comfort comes in the second phase first is the protection. Suppose, a uh, army personnel, he is in battlefield. So, his first priority is that, it is not the comfort, first priority is the protection from the bullet. So, after that protection, then comes the comfort. So, comfort is required for his better performance. Similarly, for extreme heat, Firefighter, firefighter's first priority is to protect himself from fire. It doesn't he doesn't get should not get damaged, injured by the fire. But at the same time, the comfort is also required. So we'll discuss in uh, later uh, uh, classes that uh, how to improve the clothing comfort of all these things, protective clothing, protection from radiation. So, we have to ha, uh, select clothing based on all this environment, extreme environment. Then comes unusual space as we have discussed like sorry, as we have discussed like space suit. So, for space suit we first have to analyze the requirement of the space suit. And accordingly, we will design the clothing like swimwear, for swimmer we need special uh, type of clothing, hazardous place and all this. So, unusual place we have to select clothing, we have to uh, design our clothing and also we have to impart the comfort. And then it comes the physiological factor, physiological factor first comes age. As we know that age according to age our metabolic uh, heat generation uh, changes and also our skin structure changes. So, we have to select clothing accordingly okay. at uh, different uh, particular clothing particular type of fiber may not be suitable for different age. So, age of a person as we have discussed next is that condition of health of person. So, if someone has allergy or irritation in his skin. So, he will select a particular clothing according to his health requirement or a particular a person who has electronic gadget in his within his body. So, he will select clothing accordingly. Okay. So, this depend, depend on the health of a person and body structure. So, a different type of people they will require a different uh, clothing depending on their uh, body structure. 
then physiological factor is the physiological response of the body. So, comfort of an individual varies for same type of clothing. So, different person will react, will respond differently. So, that also depending on the particular person's requirement, a comfort we have to select the clothing and then comes the activity, level of activity. So, uh, at uh, if I am sitting idle, so I will require a different clothing than when I am doing some activity. So, that depending on the body physiological activity and um, the sweat generation and uh, heat generation. So, I will select my clothing. Then as we already we have discussed, so how to define clothing now, comfort. So, comfort we have discussed that comfort is the in is influenced by physiological reaction of the wearer. Also comfort is the temperature reg regulation of the body. Comfort is absence of unpleasantness or discomfort and comfort is a state of pleasant psychological, physiological and physical harmony of human being and environment. So, this all four definitions actually it is it, uh, it, it is valid for them. It is basically ultimately it is a psychological response of a body. Okay. So, and the basic elements are we have also mentioned first is the thermophysiological aspect of the clothing. What is thermophysiological aspect? It is a basically transmission of heat, air, moisture, moisture in a liquid form in a sweat or in vapor form from the body to the environment okay, in between. Sensorial or tactile aspect. So, a person may feel comfortable during the transmission for a particular fabric, it is transmits very nicely or it protects heat very nicely, but he may not feel comfortable due to tactile sensation. If it is rough, if it is harsh, okay, it is not flexible, it is not soft, so he may feel uncomfortable. So, tactile sensation is also important. Third one is the psychological aspect. So, a person have the uh, clothing does it look good whether it is a lustrous or not, a drape is good or not, color is beautiful or um, unusual color, creasing, peeling, staining all these things are actually psychologically actually uh, affect the clothing. So, the aesthetic property which is actually it you cannot uh, measure you cannot measure uh, objectively a particular fabric a particular drape may be aesthetically beautiful for me may not be aesthetically beautiful for other. So, it is a actually personally person to person it varies and then it is a fitting comfort a particular clothing or fitting wise it is a very nice, but it may not be comfortable for my body movement. So, in that case it is tactile comfort is not good. So, all these four basic elements send signal to our brain and brain evaluates and finally, gives a comfort sensation. So, in the next segment we will discuss the psychological aspects of clothing okay. so, and then the uh, how this uh, total all the sensation we receive from different parts of the body. There are four different factors which controls the clothing comfort which is which are called four apes of clothing factor. First is then function, then feel, function means 
the functionality of clothing, functionality of fabric, okay. how the fabric transmits the uh, moisture, transmits the heat, this comes under functionality. Then feel the touch of the body, the handle of the fabric. Okay. This fabric, it, it, it feels soft, okay. that, is, that comes under feel. Then fit, as we have discussed, fit is directly or indirectly related to the, the uh, it pressure exerted on the body. Ease of our body movement, okay. this fabric may be uh, nicely fit, but it, it uh, actually hinders my free body movement. So, that uh, this type of comfort comes under fit. And then fashion, obviously fashion is actually it is a psychological. Sometimes it, it is diametrically opposite to the uh, function. Okay. So, that we will discuss. Now, coming to the function, the functions related to clothing comfort parameters are thermal transmission. So, thermal transmission by measuring the thermal transmission, we can tell okay, whether this fabric is suitable or whether the fabric is going to be comfortable or not. But we cannot say it will be 100 percent comfortable. Suppose I am I have developed one fabric with very good thermal transmission, but it has it does not have the softness, it is harsh. So, that then it will fail. So, thermal transmission if we want to control we can control by fabric thickness, yarn or fabric structure, porosity etcetera. So, if we want to have higher insulation, so what we have to do? We have to increase the thickness. If we increase thickness, so ultimately one thing what we are doing? We are uh, incorporating more and more material in that also more and more air, steel air we are trying to entrap. So, that makes the fabric insulative. So, accordingly we can engineer the fabric by enhancing the thickness. Also what we can do? We can also increase the thickness by uh, not by incorporating extra material, but by incorporating the extra air, air pocket. So, one best example is that the woolen acrylic made of bulk yarn. So, by changing the yarn structure, so by incorporating the air inside the steel air inside the yarn or fabric structure, we can change the thermal insulation or incorporating the porosity. If we make the yarn porous, we will make the we can make the yarn the yarn uh, highly insulating. Okay. So, simply by changing the yarn or fabric structure, we can control the thermal insulation. Moisture. So, moisture also we can if we can control the moisture vapor or liquid moisture transmission, we can control the functionality of clothing as far as comfort is concerned. And these are controlled by selection of proper type of fiber. Like as I have already mentioned, if we want to transmit the liquid moisture, the water or sweat, we have to select a particular fiber which does not absorb moisture, but transmits weak moisture. So, for say ex extreme sweating condition is uh, we can take the example of the active sportswear, high active sportswear, where the sports person are in a very high active level and the sw sweat generation is at very high rate. We can have say around 2 liter per hour sweat. So, if we use 
a fiber which absorb moisture like cotton, what will happen? It will absorb moisture and the structure will be saturated and cotton absorb moisture, but it cannot transmit moisture quickly. So, in that case what will happen? The fabric will or clothing will get wet and the mass of the clothing will increase and the wet clothing the heat transmission will be very fast and the athlete will or player will feel uncomfortably cold and heavy fabric and ultimately he will feel uncomfortable. So, what is the way? We have to select fiber which absorbs which uh, transmits moisture quickly. So, the best way is that you select a fiber like polyester which does not absorb and special cross section with high shape factor if you select polyester that will give very high wicking rate. This all these aspects we will discuss gradually weave structure. So, uh, de depending on the weave structure we can control the moisture transmission and say cotton, cotton fiber is suitable for very good moisture in vapor form, Trans uh, transmission of moisture in vapor form. So, in uh, case of cotton it absorbs moisture vapor at slow rate and it transmits there are mechanisms that we will discuss. So, by controlling by uh, selecting a typical uh, fiber, typical uh, weave structure and the finish application different type of finish application we can absorb and finish. So, we can control the moisture transmission ok. Water absorbency if we need a particular clothing to absorb moist water or it, it transmits moisture. First you have to absorb moisture and then you have to transmit it has to. So, so fiber type finishes weave type by controlling or design of the clothing by controlling all these things we can actually control the water absorption absorbency and last one is the drying behavior. Drying behavior is extremely important if the fabric absorbs moisture and does not actually dry quickly then the it cannot provide comfort. So, these are the function related characteristics. So, drying behavior depends on again fiber type, fabric type, uh, fabric design and all this. The next primary factor is that it is a feel it is a touch of the body. Now, feel you can have in two different ways. So, two distinct area of feel one is by feeling by finger between thumb and fingers. So, we normally try to feel the cloth by thumb and uh, finger and another one is that feel of cloth by the wearer. A particular fabric may be very soft, okay. may be very soft when we feel by thumb and finger and if we select the fabric based on that criteria, we may land up with a wrong decision. So, just I will uh, this picture will uh, give the idea about the uh, the fabric handle characteristics when we select normally we select fabric based on all these characteristics by bending we try to bend the fabric by finger to see that whether it is a uh, flexible or not stretching we try to stretch the fabric we try to press the fabric whether it is a compressible or not whether it is a soft or not rubbing whether it is a friction is high or not, whether it will give you scratchiness or not and 
CRE. So all these characteristics we, we try to do and based on all these parameters we have to take decision. So we will land up with taking wrong decision only by feeling the cloth by thumb and finger. Suppose one example is that a fabric is very soft okay, and it is a thick one, a thick layer of say non oven, it is a very soft. Now, if we take decision based on this softness, then if we see that fabric is it is not uh, it is a very stiff one. If we make a clothing out of a thick non oven, what will happen? It is a feel will, will not get good feel because of the of the stiff in nature. Okay. So, we have to take care of all these aspects. So, of, of for a fabric the it should not be harsh enough. It is, so, by rubbing we can take feeling. So, all these aspects we will discuss in tactile sensation we can measure by car water evaluation tester and all these things that we will discuss. Next is the fit, fit may incorporated by the, the designer. Okay. So, you can have very good fit okay. and sometimes the fit as I have mentioned it may be diametrically opposite to that of comfort. A fabric may have very good fit, okay, but sometimes it is uncomfortable. Okay. So, applied pressure is related to the fit. If we am wearing a loose fit clothing, the applied pressure is less, but loose fit clothing the issue is that if I am wearing a loose fit clothing and I am sitting idle, then the clothing will give you the required insulation due to entrapment of the steel air. Okay. But on the other hand, if I am wearing a tight fit clothing, so it will restrict my body movement and it will give undue uh, pressure on the body and I will I may feel uncomfortable. Okay. But the tight fit clothing it will give you very good thermal uh, thermal transmission because of less entrapment of heat. So, ultimately our uh, brain takes signal receives signal from all these aspects and finally, judge this thing. and fashion is the basically totally related to the psychological component which is actually we will not discuss uh, in this area it is not our area, but uh, it is uh, directly related to the psychological comfort fashion. Okay. Now, coming to the comfort and wearers attitude. So, comfort you can we can now divide into two aspects, one is the fabric aspect, clothing aspects, material aspects and next one is the wearers attitude. I can have a very good thermal transmission, moisture transmission, all sorts of tactile uh, uh, related characteristics very good, but if it is not liked by the wearer, then it is fail, it is not comfortable. Okay. So, psychologically he is not comfortable. So, that is why wearer attitude towards that particular clothing is very important. So, we will discuss one by one. So, comfort we can actually broadly divide into two aspects, one is the fabric or clothing aspect, characteristics of clothing and then attitude of the clothing towards the clothing of the wearer. So, comfort and satisfaction with the clothing influenced by both characteristics of clothing related to the material as well as attitudinal and psychological perception of the wearer which is beyond the clothing material. Okay. These are you have to take care while selecting a clothing for a particular comfort aspect. So, you have to take care of all these aspects. 
a very good clothing, very good material may fail if the wearer does not like, okay. if he does not, if it is not, it does not feel comfortable. Okay. So, that both these things we have to take care. So, characteristics of clothing it depends on it is basically physical characteristics of fiber. So, this characteristics of clothing it depends on the physical characteristics of fiber and material used. So, as we have discussed if we want um, high uh, moisture absorption we have to select particular fiber or a particular material particular yarn fabric tactile characteristics of uh, clothing with a touch wise it is uh, it gives a uh, very good uh, feel and thermophysiological characteristics of clothing. So, this are uh, this all these things are related to the clothing as material. So, this is controllable this we can control, okay. but the thing which we cannot control this uh, all these three things we can control which we cannot control is the wearer's attitude. It is dynamic it changes with the time changes with the fashion. So, that thing we have to take care of and also our idea is to first analyze the wearer's attitude then incorporate the comfort then select the other parameter select the fiber select the material. Okay. So, all these things we can see. So, wearer's attitude it is a basically first thing is a sensory attributes of the clothing uh, that depends it is a whether it is a warm touch or cool touch. So, I, li I like warm touch clothing. Okay. So, that means my attitude towards that. I, I like little bit stiffer fabric it is my attitude. So, that 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 particular aspect we have to take first. Then only suppose from the market survey we have come into conclusion that 90 percent people work want the horse fabric. Okay, horse fabric. So, that means there is no point of going uh, developing a soft fabric. So, you have to select your material like that and try to incorporate other comfort related characteristics. So, person requires harsh fabric, warm touch, absorbent. So, these are the characteristics, these are the information you have to gather from the wearer set. Serviceability, I do not bother about the durability, I want softness. So, develop fabric like that depending on, otherwise it is useless creasing I may require a very good crease, but some other I do not require it is a casual look I need. So, you have to first understand the wearer's attitude towards your clothing. See if I do not like, like uh, say um, softness whatever softness you provide I will not like it expected comfort and satisfaction related to attributes. So, it is a experience based. So, I know this linen fabric it gives very good coolness. So, I will definitely go for the linen or cotton. Cotton is uh, it is a soft I like softness. So, I will go for cotton. So, depending on the prior ex, uh, experience of the clothing. Next is that information obtained by interpersonal discussion or advertisement analysis. So, my friend he told me that okay, this is the cloth which is which gives you uh, very good I will go for that, but irrespective of the factor that that material factor so these are the attitude. Like Example, when I uh, if I ask when um, you think of sweater, a company would like to launch a sweater. So, he would they would try to uh, gather information about the what are the basic uh, inform basic requirement, basic characteristics people want from the sweater, like denim uh, jeans, 
they will like, they will first ask you what which color you like what type of denim you did, uh, do you like uh, thicker denim or uh, lighter denim or stretchable or not so whether blue denim or so this type of attitude you have to first study then we can it either I, without these things the uh, clothing comfort doesn't mean anything so this type of questionnaire we can get we can uh, we, then we can analyze and select so as we have discussed the material related characteristics will give you some physical parameter but psychological the wearer attitude we have to take in, into consideration okay. like uh, if 50 years back if you see that polyester was the uh, actually it is uh, in high demand people wearing a polyester if they feel it is a comfortable it is a very good but now we do not like polyester the trend is the towards the natural fiber. So, it depends on the attitude. So, design feature of the clothing what is the latest design. So, that actually it is a you have to that actually indirectly gives you the psychological comfort brand level information on garment care price also obviously, it is a if it is highly expensive someone like ok it is if it is expensive he will simply buy. And ultimately he will feel uh, psychologically comfortable. So, that that uh, these are the attitude. So, design feature of the clothing, brand level, information on garment care and price. So, to study the wearer's attitude there is a analysis technique which is known as conjoint analysis technique. What is this? It is a survey based statistical technique used in market research that helps determine how people value different attitude attributes like feature, function, its benefit and that make up an individual product and service. So, first you have to analyze the wearer's attitude, then you decide the type of clothing. So, this is widely used by a researcher for assessing consumer attitude towards the clothing. In uh, actually in clothing uh, industry this technique conjoint uh, analysis technique is used before you decide the comfort ok clothing. This technique deals with the factors related to the consumer attitude and behavioral intentions by the multi attitude choice alternative within a specified experimental design. So, you have to design some specified experimental design you have to evolve then gradually you get information ok. So, this goes in it works backward what does it mean? you get information first then as I have told then you develop your clothing you select your fiber you select your clothing you select your color ok. And uh, the product attributes are dependent variable the product attributes that dependent on the this attitude. And uh, now we will uh, stop here and next class we will discuss the human clothing interaction. Okay, thank you.